Hi everyone, I'm Shubham Jhuvar. I'm a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing JE Advanced 2021, Paper 1, Mathematics, and the question for this video is this. Please uh, pause the video to read the question very carefully and then continue to know the solution and the answer. I hope you read the question very carefully. So you might have observed that Z1, Z2, Z3, all so and so forth up till Z10, they all lie on a circle centered at origin and radius 1. Why? Because mod Zi, whether it is Z1 or Z2 or whatever, mod Zi for every i belonging to 1 to 10, that is 1. So I have put uh, the points or rather the points represented by a complex number Z1 to Z10 on the circle of unit radius and centered at origin. So this, uh, as I join these uh, points, I get a decagon, not necessarily a regular decagon. Now let me join all these points with the center of the circle. Happens to be uh, the circumcircle of this decagon. Now having done this, try to understand that this angle essentially is theta 2. Why? Because z2 will be z1 times e to the power iota theta 2. So that means the mod remains the same, which is 1 but the argument increases by angle theta 2. And mind it, theta 1, theta 2, theta 3, up till theta 10, all are positive angles. So this is theta 2, this is theta 3, this is theta 4, theta 5, theta 6, theta 7, theta 8, theta 9, theta 10. And uh, let's say this, uh, let's say this is O and point uh, Z10, if I join, Let's say uh, this is uh, parallel to, or th this lies on, in fact, a uh, real axis. So uh, this is the theta one, the angle that uh, Z1 would have, or rather OZ1, so to speak, will have with the positive real axis. Yeah. So here theta one plus theta two plus theta three plus so and so forth plus theta 10 essentially is two pi. So that means uh, clearly, you know, uh, the point representing Z10 when joined with uh, the center of the circle, which is a unit circle centered at origin, it will be on real axis. Now coming to the statement P, what is mod Z2 minus Z1? It's essentially distance between these two points, which represent Z2 and Z1. Mod Z3 minus Z2, again essentially is uh, distance between these two points, representing Z2 and Z3. Similarly, mod Z3 minus, or, or rather mod Z4 minus Z3 plus mod Z5 minus Z4, plus so and so forth, plus mod Z9 minus Z8, plus mod Z10 minus Z9, plus mod Z1 minus uh, Z10. So basically, the left hand side in this statement P is sum of the side lengths of this decagon, 10 sided polygon, which is not necessarily a regular uh, decagon or regular polygon. So I can say for sure that this uh, chord, so to speak, yeah, uh, joining the points representing Z1 and Z2, the length of it will definitely be less than the length of arc on the circle joining the points representing Z1 and Z2. So by this I can say the left hand side of statement P will definitely be less than, in fact it should uh, be strictly less than, supposedly it seems that way, but definitely, uh, you know, less than equal to the perimeter of the circle and perimeter of the circle will be 2 pi r where r is the radius being 1. So uh, so left hand side of a statement p is supposed to be less than or equal to 2 pi which is what this statement says and hence this statement is true. Now coming to statement uh, q, here let's consider the first term mod z2 square minus z1 square. Can I say it is essentially z2 plus z1 multiplied by z2 minus z1 basically mod z2 plus z1 times mod z2 minus z1 now we have already considered this mod z2 minus z1 mod z3 minus z2 all those things in uh, you know statement p considering its left hand side this mod z2 plus z1 will be coming in the first term multiplied with mod z2 minus z1 similarly mod z3 plus z2 would be coming in multiplication with mod z3 minus uh, uh, z2 in the second term, so and so forth. And if you see carefully, 
mod Z2 plus Z1 using triangular inequality would be, would be less than equal to mod Z2 plus mod Z1. So mod Z2 plus uh, Z1 will be less than equal to mod Z2 plus mod Z1, which essentially is 2. So that means this is less than equal to 2. Similarly, you can say mod Z3 plus Z2 would be less than equal to 2. So and so forth, mod Z10 plus Z9 less than equal to 2. Similarly, mod of Z1 plus Z10 would be less than equal to 2. Yeah. So that means, uh, you know, left hand side of Q is less than equal to 2 times. If you see carefully, left hand side of P, statement P, isn't it? Uh, because uh, this is less than equal to 2, so and so forth. So this whole expression will be less than equal to 2 times left hand side of P. And left hand side of P in turn is less than equal to 2 pi. So that means left hand side of Q would be less than equal to 2 times 2 pi, which is 4 pi, which is essentially what statement Q says. So that means statement P and Q both are true. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next question.